welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $50 budget stock up haul from the Dollar Tree. So I was able to hit a different Dollar Tree and grab a few goodies to see what we can get in the pantry. I'm always looking there to see what we can get to put in there that is a de decent price. And so today I did a $50 stock up. The store was pretty full that I went into and they had quite a bit of stuff in there. So I was really happy about that. So let's jump into this and see what we got. The first thing that I grabbed was a couple of the 20 ounce boxes of the pasta. This brand is really good. We really like it. And I like that it's bigger packages. Um, it, you can barely get one pound packages for a um, dollar a package right now. So we might as well get what we can. And this one works really well. And we really like it. It's good, decent quality. Yeah, it's all messy in there. Um, and then I got a four pack of toothbrushes, making sure we have plenty of those in our stockpile. You want to make sure that you are able to keep yourself and your teeth really clean, especially in a long-term situation. If you couldn't get to the dentist, you want to make sure that you're really taking care of that stuff. Um, and then we got a pack of the placards. You get 60 in here for $1.25. This is really a good deal. And I'll tell you, these things came in so handy. My daughter had braces for a couple years, and she really liked these. The little pick on the end helped get up under the wire, so that was nice. They're a little flexible, so that helped her a lot. So I really like that. And then we grabbed a couple cans of the albacore tuna. This is such a good deal from the Dollar Tree because a lot of the stores are like $2 a can now for tuna fish, which, you know, we like tuna fish. We use quite a bit of it in our house, so I like to keep a good supply. And then the next thing was Lux fried apples. They had some of these cans. Uh, this one doesn't have a super long date on it. I think it was 20 uh, July 2024. It's just over a year. Some of the other cans were even less than that. I kind of had to pick through. Um, you definitely want to watch your dates there because they get, um, some of their stuff gets really, really close before it ever hits the floor in the store. And then we got some of these, um, clothespins. You want to make sure you have them if you have to hang your clothes up to dry. And I use these for chip clips too and to hold things together. We use them for all kinds of stuff. I love clothespins. <laughs> um, we use them for tons and tons of different things. So uh, I figured I would grab another set of those. Oh, I was surprised to see this. I have not tried the apricots. There was only one can. I used to buy the Mrs. Eden's peaches from the Dollar Tree in this from the same brand and they were super good. I haven't seen them in a really long time. I did see these apricots and thought we would give these a try and make a nice little dump cake or something, some kind of snack for the family uh, for a buck 25. Well, really, it's a good deal. It's a huge 28, um, 29.10 ounce can, which is great. And then I grabbed a couple of lentils, a couple of the lentils. I noticed they had both sizes in that store. These are the older ones that are the 16 ounce bags, the one pound, but they also had the new bags that were um, 12 ounces. But these are not going to go bad anytime soon, so I would rather have the bigger bag for the same money. Definitely. And then... We also grabbed a cherry filling. These are really good. If you take like a little biscuit, just like biscuit dough, just put a tablespoon of this in there, kind of wrap it up like a ball, stick it on a pan and bake it. It's really good. Um, simple, easy. It doesn't, you don't have to make it complicated. Uh, you can make a little, uh, a little sugar drizzle for the top or something. So it's, it's really simple and easy and you can make a nice little treat for the family when you don't can't afford any of the expensive treats 
because God knows everything is getting crazy at the grocery stores. And then I also, and this haul is all over the place. I got some of everything. <laughs> Um, so I also grabbed these little tools. I have, I have one of these out in my garden. I have both of these, but from about five years ago, four or five years, and it just broke. So I figured I would grab another set of these for $1.25. If they last four or five years like the other ones, it's definitely worth it in my book. Um, we like to keep a couple sets of these so we can have them right in the garden area, which is nice. Let's see, we've got a few seasonings here. I picked up some chili powder and some coarse sea salt, making sure we have plenty of salt in our pantry right now. Um, we wanna add all the salts that we can because salt is so important, not only for seasoning, you need some in your body, um, in your cooking and stuff. It really does help the flavor also and it can be used in a multitude of ways so many different things and salt is wonderful for preserving meats so making sure we have enough and the chili powder and also some ground cinnamon these are dollar 25 is such a great price for spices they're really going up at the other stores i noticed and i grabbed this little container of coconut oil the butcher boy um, I've seen these big, huge containers of the same brand at like BJ's and stuff like that. But, um, but for $1.25, this is great. Sometimes the smaller containers are better, especially if it's only one or two people or it's something you don't use all the time. So you don't always want a big, giant, huge container. Sometimes the little ones work out better for you and your family. Right. Also, we grabbed another 70% of the rubbing alcohol. This, you want to make sure you have this. Your first aid supplies, so important. Um, we use rubbing alcohol for all kinds of stuff. It has a lot of purposes. And also hydrogen peroxide, that has a ton of purposes also. And really good to help clean things up. And then, and that is a big quart size bottle. And the um, this one is just a pint size, the 16 ounce on the alcohol. They didn't have any of the bigger bottles. And I also grabbed two of the Spick and Span. This was such a good deal. These are, let's see, 28 fluid ounces um, in each one for $1.25. Um, two of these is still cheaper than one bottle at the other stores. So definitely grab up those deals. Right, the next thing I grabbed an extra box of tissues. We wanna make sure we have those. In a real emergency, no toilet paper. These work, definitely. Um, and you wanna make sure the tissues are so much better on your nose than other stuff that you can use. The paper towels, I know in the winter time when I get a cold in my nose, I look like Rudolph from paper towels. So making sure we have some nice soft tissues helps. <laughs> Not a necessity, but it's definitely a comfort item that you want to have. And then some pink Himalayan salt. This is still the best deal around that I can find. Other than Big Lots has the five pound bag for $4.99. So that's the only place I've seen it cheaper. But for smaller bags, this is definitely the best price. And then they had some rain ponchos. So I grabbed a couple of those. These are wonderful for your little emergency boxes. We keep them in a lights out kit. We keep them in the go bag. We keep them all over the place. These are so handy. If you have to go outside in the rain um, to work on something or move something or anything, uh, these definitely help to keep you drier longer. And of course, I got matches. Cause you know me, I gotta have my matches. <laughs> gotta be ready at a moment's notice to light something up. You never know. And then also these moisture eliminators. I just love these. I know someone asked about the name brand on these the other day. And um, I do not even see a name brand. It's just a moisture eliminator. This one is with charcoal. Um, I don't know if that helps. Hopefully you can see that really well. 
but these are wonderful in the pantry for your gun cabinets for anywhere you want to keep dry. You can see it suck up the moisture in the air. It's amazing how much water it collects, really. I'm always shocked. And then some baking powder. You want to make sure you can cook um, if you can't get to the store. Things are getting more and more expensive. I know I'm making more and more biscuits and breads and things like that because they're just getting so expensive at the store and buying the supplies and making it yourself is a whole lot cheaper. Um, I'm still buying bread at the store as long as I can afford it, but I am noticing I'm making more than normal because I have to. <laughs> and then let's see. Yep, two cans of the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. We really like this one. Uh, you don't have to add water to it. You can just open it and eat it. Uh, the condensed soups, the smaller can, you have to add water. You're pretty much getting the same amount, but um, but you don't have to do anything to this. You can open it and eat it, which I like. And then a couple of the Hungry Jack potatoes. I like these for long-term storage because when you look at the ingredients, there is potatoes, salt, and dextrose for freshness. Um, and there are no fats, no oils, nothing like that in there. So these are perfect to put in your long-term storage. We just repackage these because like this in these containers, they're not going to last. They're not airtight. So um, repackaging these are definite, is definitely important. And then I think it was last time we went to the Dollar Tree or the time before, I'm not exactly sure. I picked up one of these Texas style honey sweet cornbread. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> you guys were right. It was delicious. So I grabbed a couple more of these to stash in the pantry. Perfect for your corn casserole or, you know, if you're making a big one or cornbread and you can beef it up and these are perfect for that. This is really good, actually. I like this way better than the Jiffy, so I was happy to see those there. And then I also grabbed an extra pair of kitchen shears. I really like these Betty Crocker ones. I've been buying them for years. I like to keep an extra couple pairs. They, you know, they're not the most fancy scissors, but they work great in the kitchen for cutting things. And I have been using them for a really long time, so, you know, don't fix it if it ain't broken. I just, I'm a creature of habit. And then a wrist support. Um, I noticed the other day when I was going through some of our first aid supplies that I don't have too many of the wrist supports. Uh, if I needed more than three at a time, I would definitely be in trouble. And we have six people, so I want to make sure we have enough of everything for everyone. So just a little wrist support. This one's adjustable, so you can Velcro it and it will fit. And last but not least is the Vigo yellow rice, the saffron rice. This is so good. We really like this. Um, it makes wonderful casseroles. You can just make the rice as normal and add meat and vegetables to it for like a rice aroni type deal. Um, just on the stove top. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. We really like it. For $1.25, this is going to stretch a meal out for our whole family really inexpensively. So we really like those. And that is it for my $50 stock up haul. Um, it's just a little bit of everything. We want to fill in those gaps, make sure our pantries are as full as possible right now because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.